Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a preset from scratch, uh, assign some modulation sources to your parameters and then save the preset. Um, the default preset is loaded. I'm going to click on the preset name to bring up the pop-up menu. Now I can either um, click on the init preset here and start off with the default sawtooth waveform or I can go through some templates like this like a base fatty template. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna choose the init preset here. I'm gonna use my MIDI controller. Yes, let's uh, enable the controller. Okay, here we go. So, when you look at the interface, uh, the first thing I notice is there are some orange uh, rings around some knobs which actually means that this parameter uh, can be controlled with my MIDI controller like this one you see I, I'm turning a knob on my MIDI controller and it's it's actually linked to the index parameter which is um, CC16 by the way and similarly, for the resonance and the cutoff parameters, they, they are uh, assigned to the knobs on my MIDI controller. Also, some of the knobs here you see are highlighted, like this fine-tune parameter, or the amplitude envelope amount, or filter volume. This highlight means that um, these parameters are actually being modulated. What's modulation? Modulation is um, changing a parameter's value over time by using a modulation source. We have many modulation sources available, like we have the LFOs, we have the envelopes, and many others are available here on the mold matrix. Now I'm going to go through each of them one by one. So let's actually start off, to turn on the filters. <laughs> and use our MIDI controller to change the cutoff and the resonance here. Now, uh, um, I clicked on mode envelope 1 and I'm gonna change the value of this mod envelope parameter here so when I change this value you see there is a, the, I see an arc around the cutoff parameter because mod envelope 1 is actually modulating cutoff 1 by default it's a pre-configured modulation in the init preset now let's uh, play with the parameters of the envelope here. Let's add some attack. And you know, when I move this any parameter here uh, on the routing screen, you actually see the envelope response like this. Let's have a long release. And you can also change the slopes of the ADSR parameters. Like let's have a linear attack and decay and then linear release for the filter. <laughs> Let's decrease the attack actually and increase the delay, decay. I'm also going to increase the decay on the amplitude envelope here. So we have a long release. There's too much resonance. Let's decrease that. Okay, sounds good. So, um, I want to assign um, a, a different modulation sources to different parameters. There are three ways I can do that. The first method is to click on the knob here and a pop-up menu comes up. There are some choices here like add modulation. I click on add modulation and there are some sources here like MIDI sources, other sources, uh, LFOs and envelopes. I'm going to choose other here and I'm going to assign a random source actually. 
Now, when I assigned it, it appears in the mode matrix like this. But that's uh, this is a random amount, so the pitch is going to change randomly. Let's make this very s small amount. And let's also turn on the free button so the oscillator starts at a random phase. Now I'm going to change the uh, waveform type of oscillator to a wavetable actually. We have many wavetables. Uh, for those of you who doesn't know what a wavetable is, a wavetable is, ba is basically a sequence of waveforms. And you can cycle through them. You can, um, you can um, go go through them. L let's see some examples like sine so one. Now I'm gonna press a key here and play with the index parameters. You see uh, when I play when I change the index on the routing screen I actually see the three-dimensional graph of the wavetable changing now I'm going to assign a different modulation source for the oscillator index parameter so I'm gonna go to mode envelope 2 now here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna drag the mode envelope 2 you see now it's moving and I'm going to drop it over the index parameter and now I created a second modulation as you see on the mode matrix mode um, envelope 2 is now actually modulating oscillator 1 waveform index let's decrease increase this and some decay also and some attack I'm going to turn off the filter. I'm pressing the filter button on the routing screen. Even though there is no filter, it sounds like uh, uh, there's a filter because the waveform here is actually uh, turning into a sign. It starts from a soul tooth. It starts from a sign and then it goes up, becomes a soul tooth and then comes back again. Uh, using this uh, modulation envelope there are other uh, modulation sources you can assign like for the pan parameter I'm gonna assign alternating which actually goes between plus one and minus one so I can actually pan the oscillator for each note that I press it's gonna change from left to right okay sounds good now I'm gonna I'm gonna use an LFO an LFO is also basically a low, a low frequency oscillator. It's an oscillator but running at a low frequency. I am going to uh, use the LFO to modulate some parameters like, for instance, let's choose the, the tone parameter here. I'm going to drag and drop the tone parameter. Yeah, now I'm modulating the tone parameter. Now the LFO has some parameters like volume, speed, noise. Um, I'm going to turn on the sync so it's sync to tempo. Let's make this 1-1. Uh, one, one. Now I'm going to add some noise to this LFO. Yeah. And also I'm going to... Uh, Turn on the sample and hold here. Let's increase the noise 
actually. So basically, uh, using the LFO, I'm randomly uh, changing the tone uh, using a sample and hold uh, signal. You might have noticed that there's an undo and redo button at the header. Uh, whenever you change a parameter value, it's rec Synthmaster 1 actually records that. And you can click on undo to switch back to the older value. And also when you're uh, changing any knob value, if you when you're changing its value, if you go away from the knob, you can actually uh, edit the parameter value more precisely like this. I'm just moving my finger away from the knob so I can edit it more precisely. And also for the, uh, the drop down controls here, if you press the drop down and move up and down, you can actually change its value easily like this. Okay. Now, there's also an advanced uh, editing feature in Synthmaster 1, like uh, there are these triangles uh, next to each section header, like oscillator 1. I'm going to click on this, and this lets me do different things like reset the, the oscillators to its default values, or copy its settings so that I can paste it over to another oscillator section. I'm going to click on copy to copy this oscillator 1 and now I'm gonna go to oscillator 2 and I'm gonna paste it there you go so we have the two oscillators now have the same settings for oscillator 2 I'm gonna change its fine tune a little bit and I'm gonna change its octave like minus 1 There is also an, another advanced editing feature, uh, like uh, I'm going to copy the initial settings of oscillator 1 and now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change some parameters. For instance, let's add some unison and increase stereo width, some, add some detune and also let's turn on the sub oscillator like this, sub oscillator volume. And also change the wave index a little bit. Now, when I click on the edit button again, here I see a new menu. It says modulate, change parameters, bit. Uh, I can choose the source here. For instance, let's choose mod wheel. So, if you go to the mod matrix and long press CC1, here I'm going to see you see on the mod matrix, now I'm seeing oscillator, pan spread, wave index, detune spread, detune curve, and sub volume. They're all now uh, linked to, they're all now modulated by mod the mod wheel. Let's try it. Okay, so uh, when we're done with our preset, we click on the save button here and we choose the save preset as menu. Uh, the file dialog comes up and now we're going to enter a file name, hello world. Hello world 1. And let's save it now. Okay, the preset is now saved. Once the preset is saved, I'm gonna, I should see it under my name, Bülent Bıyıkoğlu. You see under Bülent Bıyıkoğlu, I see Hello World. As a new preset. And when I click on the save button, now I, can, I see different things. Like I can rename the preset, I can delete it, I can add it to favorites, let's do that. 
so now it appears under favorites lists lists I can uh, move it to my iCloud actually or I can send it to airdrop now I'm gonna click on send to airdrop now this uh, opens up the airdrop dialog so I can send this preset file to different places like I have my Mac opens so I'm just gonna send it to my Mac so that I can open this preset with the desktop version of Synthmaster and after I'm done and uh, now there's also a move to iCloud menu this actually moves preset file uh, so it's it's gone from your uh, it's gone from your iPad it's moved to your iCloud let's do that so now it should be uh, moved to your iCloud so I'm on I'm running iOS 11 so the files app is available let's open up the files app and under my iCloud drive, I'm seeing the SynthMaster 1 folder with two uh, subfolders, presets and waveforms. Now let's click on presets. I see my Hello World 1 preset here under my iCloud drive. I can just click on this and open it up. So this is how you can... Uh, Create a preset from scratch and save it and then share it. Uh, thanks for listening to me. I will continue um, showing you more tutorials.